These are my first pair of what I call bitch sunglasses. Today we are going to be going through my entire sunglasses collection. I love sunglasses. I have an addiction to sunglasses, so there's quite a few pairs here. I'm definitely not a girl who only has one or two pairs. I have quite a few. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of them. I'll try all of them on for you guys and also give you guys some of my tips for shopping for sunglasses. But before we jump into it, if you are new here, welcome. I post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday on fashion and beauty. And if you would like to keep up with my channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit the notifications button. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on social media, on Instagram, and on Twitter. I will have the handles linked over here over here, one of these two spots. So if you'd like to keep up with me in real time or if you just want to chat, I'm always open to chatting on those platforms. Find these social media handles down below and we'll go ahead and jump into my sunglasses collection. So as I mentioned, I am a sunglasses hoarder. I love sunglasses. This started for me back when I worked at Nordstrom. I worked in the sunglass department and something about just like sitting there staring at sunglasses all day really makes you start to love them. I'm sure it like can go either way. It's like love them or hate them. You're either going to really, really love sunglasses after all of that, or you're really, really going to hate them. I went towards love. Purses used to be my favorite accessories, but now it's definitely sunglasses. It's what I spend the most money on, which is not a good thing, <laughs> but I just love the way that they can transform your face. They can transform a look. They're very, very easy to throw on and just elevate your outfit. And also living here in Southern California, it is very sunny most days. So you definitely need to wear eye protection against the sun. The sun is very dangerous. So make sure that your eyes are always protected because they can have some side effects too, guys. You know, make sure if it's sunny out or even if it's overcast, wear some sunglasses because those rays can still definitely get through there. So I have just been the type ever since working in that department to wear sunglasses all the time anytime I'm outside and there is sunlight. Even as the sun's setting I'm still usually wearing them until the sky pretty much turns pink. So basically for me personally I'm waiting for the point where it doesn't feel bright at all on my eyes then that's when I'll stop wearing sunglasses but other than that I am always wearing them. So for me though, when buying sunglasses, the biggest thing for me is construction. Ever since working in that department and feeling good construction sunglasses, I don't like the feel of the cheaper pairs of sunglasses. I'm talking like the $10 pairs and stuff that most people get. Like, you know, you get them at the gas station or at the county fair or even at Target. Just for me personally, they just don't feel secure. They don't feel good on my face. So I do personally like to invest in my sunglasses. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm looking for the most expensive pair in the world. It just means that I'm willing to pay a little bit more to feel like my sunglasses are going to last forever. And another thing too, I know a lot of people always say like, oh, I always lose my sunglasses, but when it becomes something you invest in, I have only actually lost, and I mean lost, one pair of sunglasses. Now there have been pairs that have just worn through time. They've live their life and they're damaged. I'm not going to wear them anymore. And then there was that unfortunate incident a few months ago where my car got broken into and actually a good chunk of my sunglasses collection was in there because I was out on a shoot and the bag was in there and they had taken a lot of my sunglasses. So that was a bummer. I recovered a couple of them, but a few others I'm still saving up to repurchase. But I still do have a pretty extensive collection despite that. Now, as far as the style of sunglasses that I like, I love oversized sunglasses. That's just a thing. I know that like the little tiny lenses are in. I'm not really one to get into that. Again, because I do invest in my sunglasses, I want to make sure that it's a style that I'm going to wear for a long time. So I'm not one to jump on a trendy shape just for trend's sake. I want my sunglasses to be a pair that I'm going to wear for at least a couple of years. For me, that does tend to be aviators. Aviators are my favorite style of sunglasses. I like how lightweight they are. They instantly make you look super cool. Like, let's be honest, aviators just make it look like you're cool, but like you didn't try. I love oversized aviators in particular. And then when I'm looking into like a plastic pair of sunglasses, I definitely do tend to gravitate towards square but with a little bit of a cat eye which you guys will see or like butterfly lenses is what they're sometimes called so we'll go ahead and dive into it let's go ahead and start out with my aviators so like i said it doesn't always need to be expensive the construction just needs to feel nice for me so my first pair from my collection are these sonics low dye sunglasses because this is just like instant classic 
sunglasses. I mean, they're gold, dark aviators. They're a little bit oversized and these are a type that would like look great on anyone. But I love this pair. This goes with any outfit, like literally any outfit that I have. And these sunglasses are really, really well made. They feel nice and sturdy and strong, which I love because especially with aviators, I always get scared with a flimsier pair because I feel like they can just like bend and break at any point. But if you're wondering why the brand Sonic sounds familiar, it's because they're actually known for their cell phone cases. I've never used their cell phone cases just because I have a Google Pixel and no one makes cases for those, which is a bummer. But I will say that their sunglasses are really, really good. I love this pair a lot. In fact, back when I used to have my Ray-Bans that looked like this, so I had this pair and I had a pair of Ray-Bans that were almost exactly identical. I actually gravitated towards this pair because this pair actually feels a lot sturdier. Okay, my next aviators are my favorite aviator style of life and I will credit Key for them. So I'm not a huge fan of Key sunglasses. I feel like the construction just isn't there for them and you guys might have heard me say this in previous videos. So I feel like they can either lower their price or they can make the construction better. So I don't really buy key sunglasses except for high keys because Desi Perkins did a hell of a job with those. These are the best aviators of life. I love, I love high keys. So the ones that I currently have are the black fades. I have two of them. So this is the first pair. This is the black fades. Again, you are instantly like 10 points cooler when you have these on. I love the dark to clear fade. I think that that's so cool. Another thing that I love about keys are this like little triangle detail right there. And then also too, I just love how oversized they are. I don't like the minis, I like the regulars. I want them to be big. I want them to take up half the real estate on my face. That's just how I am. And then the other pair of keys that I have are her new rimless ones. These are the blue fade. I did get them for Belize. You guys saw them in my Belize haul, but like, I love these. These just feel like summertime in a pair of sunglasses. Like this feels like I need to be on a beach sipping a pina colada just laying out getting nice and golden and bronze. I can't stop wearing these right now for the summertime and I thought I wasn't gonna like the rimless style for these but I actually do. It actually makes them a little bit more casual and fun as opposed to like the regular keys. They feel just like a little bit dressier. Like you can still wear them with a casual outfit no problem but they feel like they can be dressed up a little bit more and these feel like they're really more just for like casual beach day out just chilling. And then my last pair of aviators, I do want to shout out this brand so much. These are from Diff Eyewear. <sighs> I'm so sad. I lost two of my Diff Eyewear sunglasses in my car break-in, so I only have one pair left, but this is actually my favorite pair, and these are the Coco ones. I didn't think that I was gonna like the round lenses, but I actually really, really do. I think that it's like super cute. It's something different for an aviator. It gives it a little bit of a different style. I also love the way that this bar goes over. They definitely do remind me of like Porsche sunglasses and I believe that these were a collaboration with Khloe Kardashian and she loves those Porsche sunglasses so it doesn't surprise me that she did something kind of similar and I'm not mad at it because I can actually afford these. I can't afford Porsche sunglasses. But the construction for Diff Eyewear is so good. Their sunglasses honestly feel almost like designer sunglasses at a fraction of the cost of a pair of designer sunglasses. So this is where I started to not really like Kia as much once I discovered Diff Eyewear, which shout out to my sister, she's actually the one who introduced me to them. Yeah, once I felt these, and like these are almost a similar price point to Key. They're a little bit more, just a little bit more expensive than Key, but they feel like a million times stronger, better quality and everything. So I'm like, I would rather buy these over a pair of Keys. So that's where I've been gravitating towards um, for my I don't want to say cheaper sunglasses, but my more affordable sunglasses. So moving away from my aviators, the next two still have the nose pads, but they're not actually aviators. So the first one are a pair of Club Masters. These are Ray-Bans. Ray-Bans are my favorite sunglasses. I mean, they're classic. They make such good quality sunglasses. It, there's a reason why, like, when you think sunglasses, you think Ray-Ban. These are the oversized Club Masters. I really hate the regular Club Masters on me. I feel like they just don't work for me. That's not my vibe. I feel like I'm an imposter when I'm wearing them and everything. But when I saw the oversized ones, I'm like, okay, that's a pair that I can get on board with. And I really, really love these on me. I just like how they complement my face shape. I love this like strong brow. You're, you guys are gonna see when we dive into my plastic sunglasses. I really love a strong brow on 
my sunglasses. So I like that this hat let me have a little bit of a Clubmaster vibe, but it was still, it's like a little bit more glam than a regular Clubmaster, so it wears a little bit differently. But yeah, this pair, I had actually thrashed my first pair, so I finally replaced it, and I'm so glad that I did because I've been wearing these like almost every day. And for these, for some reason, I only like the black ones. The tortoise ones just don't look right on me. It, it's really weird. So my next pair of sunglasses are the pair that get the most reaction out of everyone because they are so outlandish and so ridiculous and I love them to death. The story behind these is so funny. It was when I was working in the sunglass department so I've had this since I was working at Nordstrom and my friend and I were trying on sunglasses that we thought looked stupid that we thought were just way too over the top and we're like why would anyone buy this so I put this pair on and I was like oh haha ha, these are so stupid look at me and then I kept wearing them and I was like you know what I actually really really love these and then every single day I went back to work I kept trying them on and I was like I really 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 love these so I saved up paychecks and I was finally like okay no I want them I'm gonna get them so these are the Kate Spade Leandras they are an older style there's still some retailers that have a few left so I'll link it down below if I can find them I have the silver one I think only the gold are floating around out there but I just like these are a vibe these are such a vibe. I love that they're square, but they have a little bit of a cat eye. It makes them a lot more wearable and a lot more approachable than you would think that they would be. Because yeah, when I saw like this rhinestoning and I saw it was a cat eye, I was all like, okay, am I like going to Halloween? But no, like when I actually put these on and I saw like how tame this bottom part was, I was like, okay, this makes it like you can be glam but like wearable glam and I actually call these my Vegas sunglasses because I always bring them out when I go to Vegas. I'll wear them like other times too but this is like I need to bring these with me to Vegas because these are just like Vegas incarnate with the rhinestoning with this fun style like I always like whenever I go out to the pool in Vegas I am 100% sporting these. Moving into the plastic pairs the first pair these are really really old Gucci's I don't even think that they sell them anymore but these were actually my first designer sunglasses so that's why I keep them. They they have like like grown apart on these and I don't know how to fix them I'm actually pretty good at fixing and resizing sunglasses these ones I was never able to figure out everyone at work tried to help me figure them out but it's fine so I don't wear them that often because they're not that comfortable I need them to be like tighter and I don't know how to do that like trust me I've tried everything but I really love this style it's such like a classic wayfarer style I like the fade on them I love like the thin side so it's a mix of metal and plastic I think that that's so much fun and Gucci has like some of my favorite cases because you can fold it down instead of making it take up all of the space in your purse like I love that that's so genius so speaking of this case there's another brand that does this and this is my first pair of sunglasses from them I've always wanted to purchase from this brand you guys saw it in my Belize haul but these are from Nem Fashion I forgot the name of these off the top of my head but I'll link them down below I think that they're on sale now but yeah these are so great. I wanted like a sturdy pair to bring with me to Belize and when I saw these I was like ooh those are perfect. Again I love how oversized it is. I love the square shape. Square just tends to complement me and I really really love the reflective lenses. These are definitely like a summer vibes type of sunglass when you don't want to wear aviators you want something a little bit thicker a little bit stronger this is definitely a great pair i also am in love with this color it's like this olive green color it's something very very different from all of my other sunglasses which are either going to be like tortoise or black or gold or silver or something like that i like that this is a different color but it's still not such an outrageous color that you can't wear it with anything I, like this kind of green kind of can act as a neutral so you can still wear this with like almost any outfit and they also do have the folding case which I love shout out to Nem Fashion Natalie Eva Marie so genius of you guys to do that as well and then I don't have it with me right here but they do also send a soft case with these two which I love I love brands that send you two cases because honestly how much does it cost to like manufacture a soft case I'm thinking it's maybe 10 cents. You can send people a hard case and a soft case because sometimes you just want the option to be able to throw it in a smaller case if you're bringing a clutch or a small purse. The next pair of sunglasses, I know for sure they no longer exist, but I just love talking about them. These are my first pair of what I call bitch sunglasses. They've a strong brow. It's just a very strong style overall. And this is like definitely like a don't, don't talk to me right now kind of vibe. Like, 
I don't want to, I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to deal with you. But yeah, these were just like a vibe when I first put them on. They were my first pair of sunglasses that made me feel this way. These are my first pair of what I called Kardashian sunglasses. Like these were a pair that I felt like a Kardashian would wear, specifically Kourtney Kardashian. I'm not a huge Kardashian fan, to be honest. I really only like Chloe most days and Kendall. I'm not really a big fan of Courtney, but I love her sunglass style. So sometimes I'll pop in just to see what she's wearing and I'll get that, which I do have a pair here that I did get because of her. But these gave me like, no offense. <laughs> this gave me like bitchy Kardashian-esque vibes. And these are by Alexander McQueen, like I said. These are pretty old. They were actually on sale when I got them, so I'm sure that the style is no longer available, but I have similar ones in here. The next pair that I got is another pair that has a very strong brow, but these are my Versace sunglasses that I just got. They also in my car, and then I immediately repurchased them because I was so bummed, and I was like, I haven't had a chance to really wear them, so I repurchased them right away. But I love these. Again, looking at a very straight, very strong brow on these. These are tortoise, so they are brown. I do like the Versace detailing on the side. I think that that's like just a nice little touch. I love the shape of these. These are a little bit more round than I usually go, but because they have like this strong brow across it, it kind of cuts that roundness and just makes it feel a little bit more wearable for my face shape. My one problem with these is that this pair does sink kind of low onto my cheeks so it can like rub on my makeup all the way down here which I don't really love but it is honestly a great style these are especially great for days where I'm like running errands and not really wearing makeup because it covers up like my whole face even if I look or feel like death you won't notice it because like most of my face is being covered up by these. But yeah, super cute pair. And these actually are really affordable. They're only $100 at Nordstrom Rack. I'll link them down below, but that's a really, really good price for these. And honestly, once you get them, you'll be able to tell why they're 100 versus like three or four hundred dollars these feel a lot lighter than most other designer sunglasses so I can tell that this was probably one of their more affordable pairs that they probably discontinued that I went to Nordstrom Rack so there's still quite a few pairs I haven't seen the page to this flash with the low stock just yet so these are still available if you're looking for an affordable pair of like designer sunglasses that are kind of like a little bit edgy with this like strong brow kind of style and the next pair these are like my babies I saved up and saved up and saved up for these because I kept staring at them every single day at work at Nordstrom and then after I left Nordstrom I ended up at a job that paid pretty well so I saved up for these and I knew I was going to come back for them once I had the money to get them and these are the Celine butterfly sunglasses these are a split between black and tortoise and I just like adore these sunglasses so much. I honestly feel so instantly bougie whenever I wear these. Like I feel like I need to have a satchel that's just like hanging off of the crux of my arm right here. Just like, like this at all times. But I love the butterfly shape. This is like a stronger style. So this like butterfly shape where it kind of comes out a little bit, almost like a cat eye, makes it feel a little bit more feminine and girly, even though it is such like a thick, strong pair of sunglasses. And I also am obsessed with like the split between the black and the tortoise because I feel like then that makes it like I can wear it with literally any outfit and it would go with anything and honestly Celine sunglasses are some of my favorite sunglasses in the industry because these things I swear to god are indestructible they are such thick plastic the lenses on them is such good quality you could throw these around I wouldn't suggest throwing them around please don't spend this amount of money then like chuck them just for an experiment but these have honestly been through the ringer. I've had them for like four or five years and they have just been through it and they look fantastic. So if you're looking to really truly invest, like you know you want to drop some cash on a pair of sunglasses, like a, a substantial amount, but you want to make sure that it's going to be sunglasses that will last, go for Celine's because yeah, I know that they are kind of bold. They have a few different styles so you can find like one that'll work for your face, but they will last you forever. Your money will be well invested in a pair of Celine sunglasses. And the last pair of sunglasses are my favorite sunglasses. Like these are my babies. I would wear these every single day 
except for the fact that like I like to switch things up especially when I want to wear aviators these are the exact opposite of aviators but I think I mentioned earlier that I really do like Kourtney Kardashian sunglass style and I bought these because I saw her wearing them and I was obsessed like I couldn't stop thinking about these sunglasses and I got a bonus at work a couple years ago and I was like okay I'm gonna get them and these are the Saint Laurent forgot how many millimeters they are but it's these sunglasses from Saint Laurent I god I love these sunglasses these are the ultimate bitch sunglasses these say do not talk to me on steroids and I am living for them they are so big they are so edgy I mean just the sheer size with the strong straight brow makes them super super edgy I love how much real estate they take up on my face it's fantastic and I also love that they're so minimalistic you know there's not a lot going on with them they're just like a really strong pair of black sunglasses but instead of being a harsh square they do come out slightly in the corners here so it softens them up just a little bit so that you're not looking like crazy hard or like crazy edgy or anything so it still makes them like pretty wearable I honestly truly would wear these every day except for like I said these are my babies I don't want them to get thrashed so I pick and choose when I'm gonna wear them and also too honestly most days I truly want to wear a pair of aviators because that's what I'm most comfortable in but this is like hands down my favorite pair if I ever lost these or these broke I would just I would die I would be so upset but yeah this is by far like my favorite pair that I've invested in I've, I've gotten so much use out of them because I just I can't stop wearing them I've gotten so much use out of them because they are like everything that I love about sunglasses and too I forgot to mention I also absolutely love how dark these lenses are like you cannot see my eyes through them which I love that's like one of the things that I always like look for with sunglasses is that it's okay if my eyes show through just like a little bit but I really prefer when like you can't see my eyes at all through my sunglasses so just a couple like quick tips for just like sunglasses in general and also for shopping for sunglasses if you are looking to shop for sunglasses online that's always really tough because you can't always try them on. What I always suggest to people is take stock of the sunglasses that you do have, realize which ones are your favorite pairs and like why, specifically the shape. Like what about the shape is what you like about them? Have you realized that you like shapes where they're wider at the top and more narrow towards the bottom? Or do you tend to gravitate towards shapes that are just like even all around? So like make sure that you know those things if you're gonna go buy online. Another really great trick is to take all of your sunglasses that you love, find the smallest lens pair and the biggest lens pair, measure them in millimeters, and then read the specs in the description of the sunglasses that you're considering because the size of the lenses is going to be one of the biggest factors that's going to determine whether or not you like the pair of sunglasses because I can get like my favorite shape of aviators but if they're too small I'm not gonna like them. So always be aware of the millimeter lens range size that you like on your face. And my biggest tip to people for sunglasses is for the love of God keep them in a case especially if you're investing in sunglasses I know that it's annoying to have to lug it around but they are going to keep their shape so much better they are going to last so much longer all of my designer pairs I've had for years and years and years because I always keep them in a case when I'm not using them it also helps you to not lose them which is like a huge thing I've lost one pair of designer sunglasses but I feel slightly justified because like I didn't pay for them I won them in a contest which I should still care but at least it wasn't like one that I had spent my hard-earned money on because that would have broken my heart but that was it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed walking through my sunglass collection with me let me know what brands you really love or what styles you really love down below I really really love talking sunglasses don't forget to subscribe if you're not already follow me on social media and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.